Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 Multiplayer with me, Flying McGuffin, Kelvin, Madjin and Shenner. So, so let's continue when we, where we left off. <laughs> so now you're Flying McGuffin? <laughs> yep. That's what I heard too. And I'm Marbazir. Well, there you go. I'm a Roomba. So, what are we doing today? Colonizing. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I was doing last week. So, <coughs> working on this colony here before we move into other places. I'm really thinking I should attack the creek sooner rather than later. Uh, they have 28, and I have... 21, well, 22. So that's 30. Is gold any good? Uh, as a native, you convert nope. it 1 to 1. As a western or, well, any other power, you convert it 40 to 1. So the answer Three, is... Let's build a couple of these. Survey says... Survey says it's 1 40th as useful as it normally is. Survey says maybe. Can I annex these guys yet? You're getting 1.02 gold. Nope. Whereas, say, with fur, you're getting 3 gold. So it's pretty crap. Or with coca, you're getting 10 gold. Again, you're the only one with coca. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. If I had diplomats to send, I would send a diplomatic insult. <laughs> I was building some troops here. I have limited manpower, so I really should be more careful about this. And I really probably should build... Oh, I'm native advancement. Uh... Well, that's useful. Yes. Got a mission. Colonize Dominica. Or, I could do that. Oh, hell yeah, that, that gives me awesome stuff. Cool. Um, I don't think it's worth it to risk for the purposes of that. So you really just only need to win one battle against these guys if they're going to be spread out like this. And it's entirely possible that I could crush this army before the rest of them come, but uh, the Pequot here aren't going to be, to help me, be able to help me in that case. So I really should take care of my own needs and get my supply limit up as high as I can. Um, playing on higher difficulties where I can't pause the game, I have to be a little bit more careful about stuff. And mercenaries are not necessarily cheap, considering they cost 14 gold. I know what I've been doing wrong. I found a trick. My vassal cannot move while we're at war. So the next time I go to war, I'll start annexing him, and I'll just keep the war going until he's done. Remember, you can't start annexing while you're at war. Do it before you declare war. Yep. That's I'm the wait, idea. Waiting until this colony is done before colonizing over there. Hey, Kelvin, are you still wanting to head down towards Erie, or what? I plan to head in a uh, southward direction, yes. Okay. Though, I don't have the colonial range to get there. Well, I'm trending to the south as well, so... You like your coca? Yep. 
I have a mission to colonize a seven tax province. Mm. <laughs> the best I have over here is a three tax province. This is why I'm heading south for the winter. You guys have so much better land. <laughs> Not me. I was the only one with the sense to start in the middle of the map. I was going to start there, but you clicked on it first. Oh, I see. Just I keep in mind that just means you're first. Yeah. This I, is true. I did announce that. <laughs> Peasants. You don't seem any worse for wear. Yet. Just wait until the Spanish come. Oh, they visited. They just didn't attack me. Yeah, why is it you can't meet someone just by having their boat go by? Why can't why can't you? It was more than that. It was an army marching around. <laughs> that should definitely work. Pretty close to done here. I really wish I could see my trade node so I could use my merchant. All trade nodes are mine. Yeah, I have no idea where your trade node is. Like, I can't even see any lines, really, to do it. The trade node system with the random new world is kind of weird. Okay. So now I've got... 25. One of the things you can do is send a dude up there to attach to that guy. Seems to be kind of stagnated, but he's definitely got an advantage in manpower on me. I'll probably just buy up some mercenaries before I go. I want to get Puerto Rico first and foremost. Uh, because... This is the... Hey, Marbuzier, are you going to do anything about Ottawa over there? Because they're supporting independence of your vassal. Can say again? Ottawa is supporting the independence of your vassal. Mm, and what about it? That you shouldn't. You're just gonna stand there and let them do that. I don't have a castle's belly on Ottawa. So yep. They should give you a CB for that. Nope, I don't have one. Minus two if I declare war. Yeah, but they should. Almost got a. Thing here. Support my successions, will you? I suppose we'll just pick up the There we go. Logic. Finally, you've started annexing my uh, lovely, lovely vassals. I have an Isabel. <gasps> uh oh. Oh god, there's still 27 years. Which yeah, is what might happen. Uh, a guy. That'll do. What's the I just have to, to hope they that? can figure out how to put tab A and slot B. Except both of them are kids, so... <laughs> oh, really? no, wait. Isabel's 12. Never mind. Does that if... even actually matter? Probably not. I'm almost done on a colony. What's my, what's my chance on this, then? 50% almost. So. Probably two months, maybe? Maybe? Nah. Yeah. Because I need. Extra. It's like this trade note is this magical idea that someone just divined up out of nothing to take money away and not let us do anything about it. On a side note. 
Hey, Mad. Yo. How much are you willing to pay for uh, fleet access? Uh, on a side note, you are so backwards, I can't get fleet access. <laughs> we established That's this last time. only temporary. Within five years, I will have boats. <laughs> okay. Ooh, within five years, I will have your lands. So, eh. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> Actually, no, I still need three more Diplotech before I can get there. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. All right, so we're going to build a tax income building here. How many mercenaries can I afford? My general plan was to uh, make a deal with, cut a deal with you for uh, naval access, and then we split MacGuffin in half yeah. between us. Well, just getting me naval access would mean that this whole series would be faster. <laughs> so I'd be all good for that part. <laughs> I'm getting this. The Travol thing is not really helpful. I can offer you fleet basing rights. Damn, if only I could use those to colonize. <clears throat> well, there is Africa. Portugal's been losing their uh, colonies. Damn, if only I could see that continent. Get a conquistador. Hmm. I could build this. Alright, I'm gonna build some mercenaries now. Uh, I should really start my colony first, though. Because it'll complete my mission. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Because, uh... If it fails... I'll take the chance. It's not like anybody else is going to get to it. I really hate Noble's demand for compensation. You either lose two it's stability or dumb. you lose one stability and more money than you have. And you might as well have lost the second stability because the money that you have is just going to go into inflation. <laughs> okay. Um, corporate Pequot. It's so stupid. Yeah, well, I guess it depends on what level of stability you're at. But yeah, the cost of reducing inflation versus stability. I guess we'll wait. We can wait. Since I'm waiting, I might as well build some normal troops. Might as well annex these guys, or at least get to where I can start annexing these guys. On July 2nd. Finish my buildings. These guys are going to come kill me, and there's probably not much I can do about it. Okay. How many natives they have here? 1,200? So I keep three dudes here. Should be fine. So, if they've got 28 still... Ooh. Tumuka to St. Kitts. There's Tumuka. 6-4-2. I'll lose a stability. Uh. <clears throat> Got cheap stability. Um, I'm gonna discipline guy. I can afford that. Yeah, easily. Almost done with my building in Shawnee. There we go. 
Anyone notice how they changed the rival modifier to be negative 75 instead of only negative 50? Yep. Does yes. it really matter? Oh yeah, I just got a mission to repair relations with someone, and now it's impossible because of that extra 25. <clears throat> I thought it was impossible yeah. at minus 50. Not quite. You could do it at minus 50. It's practically impossible most of the time, but not totally impossible. If you totally cheese it, you can do it. So, just because I started it, I can ac I can I can actually still go to war at the moment. To and I won't delay anything there. I don't have my dude anymore, so it's going to take a while. Eighty-two. So they have. 30,000 now. Influenza. Uh, shit. Oh, well, this is from a colonial province anyway, so screw that. Okay, here's an odd thing. One of my neighbors has moved his nation to a part of the land that I can't see. It's in fog. And because he's done that, it now says I have not discovered him yet, even though I have him as a rival. Ooh. That's always fun. Cool. But, yeah, that can happen. Let's build, uh... I need three sisters healed here. Let's build up our trade crap. Hey, good work, my vizier. You finally got Ottawa. Yay. Ah, oh, the word end all wars just started. What happened? France versus Austria. <laughs> They're both my allies. I think you mean the war to end all war one, because that's going to happen a lot. Well, it put Aragon and uh, me at odds, so I don't think we can Iberian wedding it while we're at war. Or while we're at war. Yeah, I don't think the Iberian wedding will fire while you're at war with each other. So. If I ignore this, then how long does this last? Not very long. Does it even affect this? No. The influenza doesn't actually affect colonialization. Like, it doesn't give you a malice on, on your speed or anything like that. I think that's kind of stupid. What happened? I got the influenza event, and it doesn't affect building colonies. You got it in a colonial province? Yep. Uh... I actually got a thing that gave it a, a plus one base tax, so it's now base tax eight. Oh my god. This is why Kelvin is wanting to come down and kill me. Yep. Let me add up all of my base tax. It, the game does that for you. If you uh, press on your shield, press your economy, and look below reduce inflation, then you can see your tax base. I have five provinces with a total of eight base tax. Mine is 53. I hate you. Mine's 39.52. Mine's 36. And I can use my trade node. You guys yeah, have I spinners can't. on all of your canoes, don't you? Yes. I can't even build canoes, but I've got spinners on them. They're just you fancy, fancy chairs right now. Our canoes are made out of gold. Not that gold is useful for anything else with the natives. Exactly. Might as well build canoes out of it. Oi! Quiet. He's having a war, so... <laughs> We're talking about our spinner canoes. I'm not talking into the team speak there, so... So, Alabama... Uh... Um... 
I got an X. And okay. we're done. Already? Yep. Yep. All right. That's it, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.